Yo, do da day. Do da, do da. I'm here. 
parked outside the rest there. I don't know if you can see how many freaking trucks are all down the line. They are all down the line on this side of the rest area. Of course, they are all down the road that way down the rest, leading out the rest area. We are all here. I'm trying to stay. Make sure I stay out of the road. But you can see the trucks, they are all lined up in and out. So my main concern was making sure I am not across the line. So I am good. That was my whole concern. I wanted to make sure I was I was good. So I may actually scoot back a little bit more. So I wanted to make sure I wasn't over the line this way. As y'all can see, I'm good. I want to make sure this guy had plenty of room that he could get out. But I also want to make sure that I'm not on the emergency lane starts right here. And as y'all can see, we got cars coming. So I get to listen to this all night. But, but you know, this starts the emergency lane. At least I'm off of the emergency lane. I'm technically off the roadway. Whereas he, him, he's actually touching the roadway right there. So, hopefully y'all, I'll, I'll be good. Oh look, it's Thorbug. Hi buddy. Come on son. Watch out. Let daddy in. Yeah, y'all. I'm stopped for the night. Whew, man. Tired. 208 a.m. Uh, um, I guess I'll go feed Thor a little bit of wet food so maybe he'll leave me alone tonight. Maybe. I think that's why he was a butt last night. I didn't give him wet. But, or did I? I can't remember if I did or not, to be honest. My brain's so scrambled right now. But yeah, y'all, it's one of them whew, days. I'm glad I'll stop. Hopefully we'll get this thing unloaded tomorrow. Just a matter of... Huh. I'm like a half hour away, so I figured I'll get there about 1.15. 115, well, uh, about 140, about 125 tomorrow afternoon. So if it takes them an hour to unload me, okay, we're looking at 230. So we're right back doing the exact same thing here because, you know, I didn't leave there until like three something. So I'm right back on the freaking, you know, driving all night long. Um, then having to fight for a place to park. This sucks. Oh, the things you gotta do in trucking, and they think trucking is all about holding the steering wheel. We're more than steering wheel holders, y'all. I made it here with three minutes left. Even after doing a split, I, I made it here with three minutes left. So, oh, man. Uh, Trucking is rough sometimes, y'all. Trucking is rough. It is definitely not for everyone. Anyway, y'all, we hope y'all have a good, safe, blessed night. I'm going to crawl back here, fix the store some food, and I'm going to bed, y'all. Peace out. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Put me on a good pair of camouflage vans. I'm up. Still parked at this rest area. 
another gazillion trucks parked here and of course the reality in trucking is since I knew it was already gonna be so freaking late um, and then with the traffic back up on I-70 outside Columbia I had everything 15 mile back up and then me having to take some back roads to get around everything and still lost some time well you know the trucker thing you don't always get a shower like you want to I wanted to take one yesterday um, but I had to jet get my fuel finish that last few minutes 30 minute break so I just gave myself the good old sponge bath, which is what us truckers do. I keep, always keep bottled water on the truck and refill my bottles of water um, when I go in to take my showers. You know, I've got 32 ounce Powerade bottles of water I use for a door. We got our 64 ounces of diet Cran pomegranate that I use to refill for water for me and Thor and then plus I got a couple more 32 ounces in there plus I got two gallons under the bed and I use a Tupperware tote with body wash and a microfiber towel to get myself nice and clean so it sucks sometimes you just want the running water I got the toothies done brushed all that and dispatch has already asked what's the status here so they're ready for me to get this load delivered yesterday's drink since like three o'clock yesterday at four o'clock yesterday afternoon 12 feet 11 59 kind of ugh. Uh, extremely watered down so it tastes pretty much like crap. And of course, this freaking tablet. I mean, I've updated it, I've shut it down, I've reset it, let it restart, and it still just drags and drags and drags when I try to do the freaking e-log. Takes me forever to get through it because the buttons, the touch screen sticks and I've even wiped it down they can shut the screen off and wipe the tablet down and it still wants to act a fool. Anyway, y'all, I gotta finish my, finish my bling, you know? All right, now we can roll. So, let's get moving, y'all. Right to seal, put it in door 19, and then we will get this bad boy rolling. Holla! Show y'all what we have in here. We have tires, lots of tires. All right, y'all, we are in a dock, we are getting unloaded, and there's some big old freaking wheels and things for their tractors and all. They make huge tractors. So we are here y'all, we are getting it done. Just waiting on dispatch to get back with me on my next load, holla. Yes. 
this. 